The Bund militia had been on high alert for three months, but the arms and ammunition promised by the Poles had not yet arrived. On the 23rd of July, a meeting took place between representatives of the Bund, its branches, and fraternal organizations. Although the arms had not yet arrived, it was decided unanimously that the only possible course was to fight deportation with the bare hands. This was the Bund position at the meeting of all Jewish groups in the ghetto that took place that same afternoon. At the end of December 1942, we received our first transport of weapons from the Home Army. It was not much. There were only 10 pistols in the whole transport. But it enabled us to prepare for our first major action. We planned it for January 22nd and it was to be a retaliatory measure against the Jewish police. However, on January 18th, 1943, the ghetto was surrounded once again, and the second liquidation began. This time, however, the Germans were not able to carry out their plans unchallenged. <coughs> Four barricaded battle groups offered the first armed resistance in the ghetto. The ZOB was baptized in the battle in the first large-scale street fighting at the corner of Miller and Zamenhofer streets. The best part of the organization was lost there. After that battle, we realized that street fighting would be too costly for us, since we were not sufficiently prepared for it and lacked the proper weapons. We, therefore, switched to partisan fighting.